Hey YouTube, Richard Jarrett Kitts here with another video. Um, this video is going to be mainly about what I keep inside my um, pack for one to three days. Um, normally, um, you'd carry this much stuff for about a three day hike or, or so. Um, I'm going to quickly jump into this. Um, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit longer than normal, but let's start with what's on the outside of my backpack. By the way, I am I'm rocking the um, North Face uh, Base Camp Duffel Bag. Uh, yeah, it's kind of heavy, but I normally don't, you know, pinch my grams or anything. But uh, let's go ahead and start. Um, first, we're going to start with this cool little um, cup I found at a KOA campground, a KOA campground um, not too long ago. I liked it because it had the little carabiner handle, so you could just easily clip it to your outside of your bag. Um, not sure. I think it's probably like 10 grams or something, but I don't care. Um, next thing I keep on the outside of my bag is a Sea to Summit's um, a light line. It's um, pretty much a clothes line, you know, for your to dry out clothes or hang up lights or you know just the, you could even use this as like a ridge line or something if you needed to say you forgot your ridge line or something if you had this it's not necessary but it's one of my luxury items I keep with me um, I keep it clipped with a little carabiner um, I keep my, a hat on there um, for sun protection and rain and keep it out of my eyes and stuff. I um, also have a uh, a Duff headband to put on my head to keep my hair back and you can use it as a sweat rag or whatever. It's actually um, UV high protection. It keeps UVs off of you. Um, I normally keep this one and a long duff or, you know, over my nose and stuff for protection. Um, I think that pretty much covers um, everything. I keep a bandana, my AT bandana. I love this. Um, I got this at Trail Days. Um, I actually want the, the bleach um, shirt they have kind of like this. Yeah, I love it. I love it out there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump on, jump in the inside of the pack, okay? Um, I'm gonna start off with the the big three, which is food, water, and shelter. Um, I normally keep a couple of mountain houses with me. This is the lasagna with meat sauce, pretty good. Well, actually, I haven't tried it yet, and the breakfast skillet, which I've heard is really good too. These are two new ones I'm trying. Uh, my shelter, my shelter is the Big Agnes um, HV UL2. It's a really lightweight backpacking tent. It's super light. It's like a pound, twenty ounces, something like that. Something really light, like really light. Um, even with the stakes or anything, you could probably get lighter if you switch the stakes out and stuff. Um, uh, for water, I normally carry me a. Hold on, let me grab it. I normally carry a couple of smart waters with the with the tip because you can use the the tip for backwashing. That way, you can save weight on this on your saw saw your squeeze. I got the mini. The mini squeeze right here. So if you have this, you can eliminate this from your backpack, which which I'll be doing. Um, you normally don't need the straw, but I take it just because sometimes you don't feel like doing the whole squeeze thing and transferring it. You can literally, what I call is kiss the river. You know what I'm saying? You just plug this in and kiss the river. <laughs> um, so that covers shelter and well actually the big Agnes you could check out um, a video I will leave it in the card up the top and I did a full review full detailed review on the big Agnes 
the HVUL2. Um, so that covers water, shelter, food. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Um, now we're going to move into my sleep system. Um, I normally put three things in my Thermarest uh, bag. I'll keep my my pillow. It's um, a Sea to Summit large blow up inflatable, super lightweight. I recommend one of these bad boys. Sea to Summit's pretty great. Uh -huh. I got the silk cotton liner. Now it's a um, it's a liner for your sleeping bag. Now these things were surprisingly pricey, like. It's basically like, I'm gonna do a, actually I should do a, a DIY of a liner. Just get you a nice, like, get you a nice sheet and sew it, you know, sew it together in a square. That's all this thing is. This was like $55, okay, for a sewn together, like, a sewn together freaking sheet. $54. But I keep it, it's, um, it's blue, like, I guess that's dark blue or navy blue or something like that. But I keep that in my pack and I recently got the Neo Air um, x Light right here. I think this is the, the woman's version just because it's it's per fits my height perfectly and it's the lightest one. Like this thing's light, light. It's, I think it's like a pound, a sleeping pad a pound. That's, and the R rating is like 3.4, 3.2. It has an R rating, right? Um, and it has a in the middle has like a a heat shield that reflects the heat up back at you. So it has an R rating, and it's pretty good. Um, moving on, I have a totes um, uh, rain jacket for rain, keeps you dry, right? Um, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, moving on from that is. A down jacket. Now this is this is part of the gear that gets kind of expensive, but it's kind of like a must-have. Um, it packs it packs into itself, which is really handy for pack size and having room in your bag. Um, this thing is really warm and really like compact. The thing of squeeze into anything. It's really nice. Um, you're looking at like two hundred and fifty dollars for this thing. Like, this is the um, North Face Steep Series. It's really nice, like really balling. It has like um, a thing for avalanches, like it hooks into there. Like it's like it's I don't know. It's for avalanches and snowboarding and skiing, which that's not really what I use it for. Um, I use it for my main layer. Um, Okay, now um, let's talk about my sleeping bag. I have it in a dry sack. Um, this is the only thing I really keep in a dry sack, uh, for now at least. Now if it's raining or something, I might open this up and put a couple more things in there. But as of right now, I just keep my sleeping bag in it. Um, sleeping bag is a 50 degree um, Mermont uh, Nano Wave. I think I'm saying that right. It's really only for like um, warmer seasons. Now you could probably use this as um, a bag liner for something a little bit warmer. It's because it's that it's that light and compact. You could probably use it as like an inner um, liner for another um, winter bag or something. But this is what I normally use for the most of the the year. This and the sleeping liner right here. I normally use that in this. Keeps them pretty warm uh, through this, you know, the spring and early fall and summertime. This is perfect. Um, the Mermont 50 degree Nano Wave. It's the same color as this Nano Wave. It's perfect. That's why I picked this color. Um, I normally carry a light tarp too for a um, footprint. I use this as my footprint. Um, Actually, I need to cut it down to size so it doesn't come out, poke out um, through my um, tent. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my sleeping, my my water, my food, 
my sleeping system, my rain jacket, and now we're moving to my cook system. My cook system's pretty cut and dry. Um, I didn't splurge too much on my cook system, which I really don't. I really just boil water for my um, for my mountain house, my dehydrated uh, meals. Um, I picked up the Stanley um, Adventure set with like the I think this is an Ozark little um, 250 milligram cup. Um, got a little little handle thing to pick this bad boy up so and uh, keep it in there so it, I just stuff it in there so it doesn't like clink around in my backpack. Let's open this up real quick. Give you a quick overview of it. Um, it comes with two cups. I immediately just took those out. And here's a, I think this is a, a mission, like, cool rag or something. Like, you dip it in water, then you snap it a few times, and it keeps you cool. Like that, you could use it as that, or, you know, if you don't feel too bad about it, you can wipe your pot out with it if you just boil water. Um, I got a, a flint and a, a striking steel. Let's see if I can get one going. There we go. <laughs> Fire and steel, or flint and steel, whatever you call it. Got my uh, MSR fuel canister nest, nestled in there. Fits in there perfectly. Thank you Stanley for doing that awesome and I also have part of my um, cook system I have the MSR pocket rocket the first one is still near and dear in my heart so I rock it all the time I just really love it and it's never failed me so I'm really I'll probably upgrade it to the pocket rocket 2 eventually but there's nothing wrong with that pocket rocket 1 um, got a little collapsible um, bowl or cup no for drinking saves a lot of room um, the luxury I actually picked this up at Walmart it's um, it's the Gerber Bear Grills little survival kit now this but this bag right here is not waterproof but they thought of that and it has like a little dry bag or plastic bag that keeps everything dry this actually comes with a whistle uh, paratender right here um, a sewing kit um, some copper wire um, some string that kind of looks like dental floss and a cotton ball and a little survival pocket guide right there which is kind of heavy, or not kind of heavy, but it adds a little weight again, but it gives you a little peace of mind if everything gets soaked, like your lighter or whatever. But your, if you have, and this actually came inside of that, um, it came inside of the Bear Grill kit. So that was pretty cool. I always keep some extra string for hanging stuff up, or you just never know when you need some. I think everybody should carry a, a little little hank of rope all right let's see right here oh and um uh, i got a shit out of luck um, um emergency blanket you never know i call the uh, the sol shit out of luck because if you're using this you're shit out of luck um also got some patches for my Thermarest um, inflatable mattress. Uh, okay, let's move on. I got, for some reason, I got a lot of Bear Grill stuff. Um, I got a backtrack for um, GPS status. Like, I can go online and keep up with all my um, trekking and my how fast I go, my altitude. Um, I can mark where my tent is and then say it's dark and I lose my spot I can turn this bad boy on then I can just follow this thing all the way back to I can mark my car mark my um, campsite I can mark my home I can mark 
just a point of interest I can mark with this thing. So this is always a pretty cool and fun thing to have if you um, if you're down with keeping up stats and stuff. Um, um, I always keep one of these two. So it's actually a can opener right here. To open up cans. You really don't. You really don't supposed to um, backpack with um, canned goods, but I, you know, I always do. I always find myself doing it. I got. Um, I light my fire. Um, spoon, spork, whatever you want to call it. Um, if I had a totes. Um, totes. Well, maybe it's not there. Oh. Um, I did have a Tokes like collapsible um, fork. I got a little um, safety kits, just like cleaning pads and just your basic band aids. You know, a couple grams, not too bad. I'm not overkilling it on the safety stuff. Um, now this is another where I where I normally hike with a video camera or something. I'll keep a, a USB. This thing comes in handy because it rolls up itself, which I like a lot. And it has a couple interchangeable tips for different devices. Comes in a cool little carry sack, so I normally pack this. Doesn't add too much weight, which again, I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I carry a just wireless um, 16,500 milliamps. Um, this thing will charge a tablet, will charge your phone multiple times, charge a camera, it will charge um, two things at the same time, which I used use that a lot actually. And my headlamp is a is a Petzl um, hybrid. Um, it has the the battery where. Well, let me grab that real quick. I think it. Out of pack. Yeah, the the Petzl the Petzl hybrid requires or doesn't require you can actually use AAA batteries if you can't charge anymore. But it comes with uh, or it doesn't come with. This is actually sold separate. The Petzl core you can charge this by USB and have this, so you save money save weight by just simply using the Petzl core which I it's coming handy a lot um, just the wall outlet and this to charge this when say you stop at a laundromat to you know off the trail or whatever you can charge your stuff up um, a trash bag um, this trash bag has multiple choice um, multiple choice multiple uses um, I use this to pump up my um, air mattress, which I have a video about how to do this, how and how to make this right here, um, how to pump up your air mattress because these things will build up condensation in the inside and will actually mold. <laughs> now, Thermarest claims that these X lights have a special coating on there, and it will not mildew on the inside or molds which I don't believe that um, I say after a, a hundred inflates like it's going to start molding in there if you don't find you either do this method or get the um, stuff sack looking thing and you bellow it in bellow the um, air in which I've seen a lot of people do that um, a match container that keeps your matches dry which I think everybody should have one of these. Just keeps your matches or whatever in there dry. You know, a cigarette, something. And it comes with a, I guess, a little emergency um, flint or magnesium or whatever um, on the bottom, which is pretty cool. And I think I've actually emptied my bag out. Now this bag alone is like two or three pounds. It's 72 liters, which is plenty for a th through hike actually. Um, 
But yeah, I've covered my shelter, I've covered my sleeping system, my cooking system, my food, what I do for water, which is the Sawyer Squeeze Mini. Um, oh, here it is. Here's my totes. Um, totes spoon, or no, actually fork. Right there, it collapses, and then you can open it up, and boom. Which I could probably get rid of one of my other utensils, but hey. Oh, and, and inside this, I keep um, a bug repellent right there for when the bugs are bad. You pretty much just wear this right here. It has a little hole right there. You can just, just put it on the, your backpack or put it around your neck or whatever. Whatever's handiest at the time. I'll keep a couple. I think there's three in there. And they last for like 72 hours, so by the time it's not working, you'll be off the trail, probably. But yeah, um, that's uh, that's all I carry. Um, that's, I could go, that's perfect for a bug out bag, you know. You know um, I keep a, right here, I keep my ID pack, pack on it in case... You know something happens and I misplace my bag like hopefully somebody a good Samaritan would send it back to me or whatever but always a good idea to mark your bag that way you know somebody doesn't you know somebody can send it back to you now it have to be a good Samaritan you know cuz I think a lot of people would see this backpack and be like it's a treasure which would suck but anyways the, that concludes what's in my backpack now Anybody else that sees that I missed something or has some better tips or tricks for me, um, leave them down in the comments. Um, don't discourage to watch my video because of my subscribers. Like I don't have very many subscribers, so don't let that dictate on watching my video and enjoying it, subscribing. I need to start somewhere and. I'm really passionate about hiking. I've been hiking for almost a decade and I'm, I submerse myself in gear and learning new things. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and leave me some comments and like if you like my gear and like the way um, I make my videos. Um, it's probably one of the first ones where um, I just let it go, and if I make a mistake or say something wrong, like I don't edit it out. Um, but yeah, this is um, Richard Jarrett Kitts um, with Family Outdoor Adventures. Um, Outdoor Family Adventures. I always say that wrong. Um, but yeah, uh, safe travels and be safe out there hiking. Peace. Okay, what I have here is a luggage um, wire um, right here. Now it's important that before you go out on a hike, um, before you add um, what's called a ba uh, base weight, before you add your food and water, um, go ahead and weigh your bag. So these things aren't very expensive. This is like seven bucks. Um, go ahead and pick you up a, a luggage wire. It helps for travels and for airport and it saves money on that just um, let's go ahead and see everything I showed you in the video is in my pack right now and let's take a look on how much it weighs all right let's pick this up let's see what that weighs what does it say 15 16 17 18 pounds so everything you've seen in that pack, sorry I'm sweating kind of, um, everything you've seen in that pack was 18 pounds. So that's borderline lightweight. Um, I consider it lightweight for me. Um, comfortable, not too bad. Um, now that's without um, food or water. I don't have, I have the canister, which you don't really supposed to count your canister either because that's, you know, um, perishable. But I have it in there because it's normally full for my trips. So that so that even the cans I can count the can weight empty, but 
but pretty much just um, weigh your bag and just see what you can trim down and so on and so forth. But yeah, weigh your bag.